Hi, I'm Martin from Printer Potty. What we're going to be doing is fitting a Printer Potty waste kit to this Canon G4511 printer. This particular printer has two waste ink tubes inside. What we're going to be doing is showing you how to access those tubes, redirect the waste ink out into our external tank using an extension tube like this one here um, to make that happen. So, tools. Main thing you're going to need is a screwdriver, crosshead or Phillips screwdriver, preferably with a magnetic tip. It just makes things a little bit easier. Then what we're going to do is remove these two screws. Now that we've done that, what we do is simply pull the top away and the whole thing comes out. Now that we can see into the printer, we have two waste tubes. One is this one you can just see here. The other is beneath it, you can see running just there. This is loose at this end. It connects to the printer at this end, but it's loose and basically shoved into its waste pads at this end. What you do to get it out is get a pair of tweezers or in this case a pair of forceps and just gently pull that out of the printer like so. The other waste tube when you do the same thing as well use your tweezers or your forceps or whatever you've got available to you to just gently hook that out and pull. Again this is connected at this side but it's loose here. Okay, so what you're doing is just gently lifting that out. Now, as you saw in there, it flicked. And if that was, it had inks droplets in it, that would have flicked up in my face. So just watch out for that. Just take your time. Tweezers is a good thing. We're now ready to move on to the internal connection for our waste tube. Now, I've already separated the external from the internal. As you can see here, the elbow, is the point where you disconnect. That leaves you with the elbow on the end through to our Y fitting and then our extensions, which have different length arms. As you can probably guess, the longer of these two arms connects to the shorter of our tubes, the top one. So I'm just going to put that together like so. Push those together. That's one and the shorter of the two arms and the connector is going to go on the bottom tube, which is there. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is to make sure that everything routes properly through the printer and doesn't cause any problems. So I'm just going to put that there for a second. And then what I'm going to do next, what you want to be able to do is stop these tubes from getting pushed here up against this. It will cause no end of problems. They need to go over the top like this, okay, to avoid falling behind the panel and getting crimped, okay? So the way to resolve this is to use the nylon tie that comes with your part. I'm going through a hole just here, which allows me to stretch everything out and hold everything in position. Okay, I'm just pulling this a little bit so you can see. But by putting that there and pulling it tight, that is going to stretch everything out and it holds everything in position. Now you're going to see why that's important in just a minute. Okay, now you could put one of these tubes through this little maze where the wire goes, not 100% sure I'd recommend that. It does seem to work, but I've chosen not to, okay? Just make sure that if you do go that route that it doesn't crimp, pinch, or fold the tubing in any way. You don't want anything to block the ink flow through those tubes. Having made sure that that's all in the right place and that's all there, I'm now going to tighten that up. <laughs> Not too tight, but tighten it up enough that everything is now held in position like 
so. Okay, once I'm happy that everything's okay, I'm going to then snip the end off. I'm just using clippers, but you can use scissors. What we need to do now is drill our back plate so that when we put it all back together again, like that, the tube will be able to come out somewhere around about here. If you notice here, we've got quite a good reference point in that we want to be somewhere probably about one or two centimeters, inch, inch and a half, up from this lip here so that we can then come through. I'm gonna take my drill. This is a 4.5 mil drill bit. And then I'm going to drill my hole. Now, as I said before, I want to drill somewhere around about here. I wanna drill around about there. Okay, so I'm gonna just mark that slightly. And then with a ruler, I'm just gonna show you. It's just over two centimeters away from this edge and only about half to one centimeter over, okay? If at this point you're now having a wobble and wondering if you've got it in exactly the right point, because you're drilling in the inside, it doesn't matter so much, but you can now sit your thing just there and then you can check the alignment, okay? As you can see here, pretty much in alignment with where that tube uh, connector is, okay? So that when you lift that up, it'll be in the right place. So I'm comfortable with that. I'm quite happy with that. I'm gonna finish drilling. Finish off. Now that I have my hole, I get hold of my extension part and I feed it into the hole I've just made. And now we can just connect that to the elbow connection here, like so. Push that on, make sure it's good and tight. Okay, and just pull a little bit of the slack out. And then as I mentioned right at the beginning, when we took this panel off, these little bits here match up with our teeth in the bottom. And what you do is just gently lift your panel up and over so that the teeth slide in to those little holes or slots in the bottom of the panel. And basically the panel will hold on like that now. Once you've done that, just check. What you're doing is just checking down here to make sure that there's no problems, that there's no crimps, no issues, nothing's getting in the way of anything down there. So that's good. Ah, actually, I have spotted something. This here. This here, this tube, was lining up around and over this bit here. Now, it shouldn't make a huge difference because this is here, but if you look, there's this ridge. I have a feeling that ridge would have crimped that tube. So what I'm gonna do is just make sure it goes underneath like that. That should avoid it having any problems, okay? So that's one of the things to look out for. But yeah, look out for these ridges, look out for anything that's going to stand, stand proud of this and then potentially create a pinch in your tubing. So I've dealt with that. So I'm gonna reseat everything. Yep, a lot happy with that now. Put that on, close that bit up. And now I'm just going to put my screws back in. Don't need to show this because I've already shown it all. One. Now that I've done the screws, last thing I do is just make sure the slack's been taken up with our external tube here. Last thing to do is to attach our tank. The way we do that is valve here, connector here. You put that, push it in and rotate clockwise like so. And the tank is now connected and that valve is now open. And your final check is to make sure that this tube clamp is open like this, it's open like that, not closed like that, because if it's closed like that, it will stop ink getting into the tank and cause pressure to build up in the system. Okay, so make sure that is open. 
Now that you've fitted your waste tank, the next thing to do is reset the waste counter so that the printer knows that, well, thinks that the pads have been changed. Once you've done that, you'll then be able to continue using your printer as normal. Obviously, keep an eye on your tank to make sure that you're emptying it out on a regular basis. We do recommend you empty it every once in a while. Don't let it get above about half full. So that's it. That's the whole process for fitting an external tank, the printer potty, to this Canon G4511. We hope it's been useful. Uh, if you've got any constructive criticism or comments, please do check out the comments and, and you know, provide your thoughts as well. Um, if you're interested in more of our content, then do subscribe as well. We'd love to have you. But that's about all. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.